Well, hello, my pretties. How are y'all doing today? I would say good morning, but it's afternoon. I've been working, 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 working in this office ever since we came back from vacation. Man, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> sometimes going on vacation is nice, but when you gotta come back and make up for some of that lost time, it's a lot of work. So today I'm just gonna try to get out, do a couple of things and just start this week off right. So you guys just come and enjoy the day with us. I'm not even gonna say what we're gonna do because as I go along, I may change my mind, okay? So I don't even wanna say what this vlog is going to, you know, be. We just gonna wing it as we go. What I feel like doing, that's what we are gonna do. Um, we need to get some household things. I really want to wash my new car and drive it because I haven't been driving it and um, I'm not ready to do my car tour yet. I'm waiting for something that I wanna get for it. So that is coming soon stay tuned for that and we're going to get this day started it's late but we're going to get it started work is done so now i can go out and play a little bit i think before we leave for today we are going to doctor this up. I got this from um, Sam's Club. It was $7.99. It's a chicken salad, but I buy it and then I doctor it up. I do not have any um, peppers and stuff, but they have some peppers and stuff inside here. So I'm just going to cut up some onions. I'm going to season it to my taste and I'm gonna add some eggs inside of here and a little bit of my mayo and my little secret sauce. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna to do to this. It just cuts down on time cooking the chicken, doing this. I'm just gonna enhance Sam's little um, chicken salad. I get these from Sam's Club too, these hard boiled eggs. Because look, I don't have time to be boiling no eggs. And these are cage-free hard-boiled eggs. Babe takes two. It comes two in a pack like this. He takes two to work in the morning with his coffee. So, yep. I don't have shredded cheese, so I'm gonna use the Parmesan cheese. Secret ingredient. Just going to make a sandwich for us and I'm going to cut up this cucumber I got from my sister's garden. I don't have any garlic so I'm going to use the garlic and herb.
Here's the sandwich. Put a little more cheese on top. I like cheese on mine. Like I said, I gotta use this Parmesan cheese. And there go babe sandwich. I'm gonna cut it in half. Here's the sandwich and some cucumbers from my sister's garden. And the cucumbers are good. Very good. Oh mm, gosh. Dirty up my shirt. Well, I decided to go ahead and make my strawberry pound cake before they eat up all of my strawberries. So I'm going to cut these up and I'm going to let them marinate and make a juice. And then I'm going to make my little strawberry pound cake later on. So I want this to sit and set first. So I'm going to cut this up first. this like marinate for a little while so this will be good so I'll come back later and just continue to stir until you make that juicy taste if I can remember when I'm out I'm gonna buy me some more strawberries so I could just add a little more strawberries to my cake so I'm going to let this sit and then I'm going to take these and I'm going to sit it just on the top. Okay. If you have a top, put a top on it. Uh, plastic wrap is okay, but I don't have any more. So I'm going to put some aluminum foil. And I'm just going to sit it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to make the strawberry pound cake. Now it's time to wash the Range Rover. So now we at the Maryland car wash. Wash. You say hi, babe. Yep, sure did. What's up, fam? 
Well, we just got an alert that is going to have a thunderstorm. So we just washed the car. So I think we're going to drop this car back home because we still have some more errands to run. So we'll drop this car back home and put it in the garage and get the other car. So I just think we're just going to go to the store and get some household things and stuff. That's just what our day is looking like, right? Yeah. Babe, go back to work tomorrow. You ready to go back to work? No, I think I'm going to turn my, turn my uh, paperwork in tomorrow. Yeah, I, if he turned his paperwork in, I'm going to turn my paperwork in. And we will you, be retired. You can't retire before me. I'm waiting for you. Okay. We both can retire. We just yeah. say don't want to. It's not in the plan for us to retire right now. We have a game plan. So we have to stick to the game plan. Even though sometimes we want to retire, right? Yeah. Like now. Yeah, so let's go home and change out this car. And um, then we'll get doing what we need to get done today. Check back in with you guys later. Later. Now that we done changed cars, we are at the um, CVS. This is the drive through pharmacy. This is a little, little ways from my house, but I use this because I don't be wanting to go inside and I like the drive through So, to come to this pharmacy. <laughs> All right, do you have any questions? No, thank you. See, this is why we took the car back home after we washed it because it's pouring down rain now. So we did the right thing because we just had it washed. So we switched cars. Now we're heading to get some household things. We were just listening on the radio and the Frank Ski Show and they were talking about the mother and son who got on the airplane and they had seafood and they had crawfish crab legs, crab legs. I mean seafood and I'm going to insert uh, a clip in Emil Pratt couldn't believe it this photo of him and mom Susie aboard a flight to Las Vegas. Brad in the air was something like normal. It was just regular because we always do it, you know? We actually do it bigger than that. The two traveling with family, having a full on seafood boil thousands of feet in the air, catching the eyes of passengers, even the flight attendant who they say snapped the photo. And this since the age of eight. Never flew without my seafood. Every time I fly, I bring seafood. I never had a seafood less flight. For the past two days, many wondering how the crab legs made it past security. TSA lets anybody in with food. It does not matter what your food is. They will allow you to bring your food. But okay, so you see that. Now, what we don't understand about it is we were going on a cruise. You know how you buy all of your lotion, your body wash, your um, conditioner, shampoo, deodorant, all of that stuff. And we forgot, wasn't thinking, and we did not put it inside of uh, the suitcase, remember? Yeah. And we put it on the carry-on carry bag. They confiscated it from us. They will not let us go through checkpoint with it, right? Right. I don't know if they threw it away or maybe somebody who worked it took the stuff because it was all brand new. We were so mad. You hear that rain? We were so, so mad for the simple fact that when we got on the cruise, we went to the store on the cruise. And they only had the, like, a sample size, yeah. you know? And 
man, it cost a lot. And we had to buy so many sample sizes of body wash. We was on a cruise for almost seven days. <laughs> so we had to wait till we got to an island and bought like big things. But that was like three days on the cruise and we had to just buy, keep buying the samples. So I'm just confused, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just confused. confused. And in the picture you saw that they had um, aluminum fans. How did that get through the checkpoint? It's not even a point. They're making a big thing because it went viral. But they're making a big thing about it. Um, saying that they were ghetto. And she was like, there's nothing ghetto about her. You know, they always consider themselves classy. I understand that. Thousand sounded off on social media. But the ghetto was disturbing to me because nothing about me and my son is ghetto. We take pride in being classy. And it was more of a classy thing than anything because I wasn't even in first class and I turned coach to first class. I just don't understand the food getting through customs, getting through the checkpoint when they took all of our lotions just to wash our bodies. So, somebody dropped the ball on that. But the lady said every time she flies, she have seafood. She a New Yorker, you know, we do make things happen. You know what I mean? So, hey, kudos to her and her son. But that food sure look good. And we got some blue crabs, right? Yep. No, dungeon crabs. We don't have blue crabs. The dungeon crabs. We have some dungeon crabs in the freezer. And I think I'm going to cook them this week. Because just seeing that video made me want some seafood. Alright, so we're going to stop at Walmart. It's raining, so we're going to have to like run in and out. And we'll check with you guys later. had it made that juice from letting it sit I added some more strawberries because that just wasn't enough strawberries and here is the pound cake from the box that's right we're making it from the box nobody got all day to be making nothing from scratch not me I gotta get back to work so I'm gonna be putting this together and this and then over here I'm going to be making Dave some muffins breakfast muffins so he can just grab all week and go so I have some bacon already cooked all I have to do is crumble it up and I'll let y'all see
So now I'm getting ready to make my husband some egg muffins to take to work in the morning to drink with his coffee on his way to work. So let's get started. I just wanted to pour a little bit in here. Now these are some maple sausages. I'm gonna break up in here. This is a good little quick on the go breakfast. So much other stuff you can put in here as well. I just break them up in pieces. Then the bacon. Now this is already cooked bacon. So you just have to warm it up. So that's why I'm using this. Greens up in there. And here is um, Babe's um, muffins, egg muffins. So I'm gonna let these sit to the side off the, and cool off, then we'll be back. Okay, let's bag this up. 